and evil associates. The Lord is well, as in Jackson, our planning, Elizabeth, off, along with the assistants, all of the assistant ministers and directors here, well over competently and professionally. While we were away, we have done our country in this ministry. Today, we have visiting with us officials from the Rock and Pool School of We will be speaking to you very briefly about the programs that are taking charge of. We also have representatives from the Liberia Football Association. You all know that it's something. A very good friend of mine, his sister, is helping the Liberia Football Association organize as a patriotic duty. Upcoming game between Liberia and Senegal. This is a very important one. And you have no better person to have organized it than my whole system. They will be telling us about arrangements for the game, and we have also invited the chief of traffic, the Liberia National Police Force. Tell us the arrangement, the traffic arrangement for the game on Sunday, which we expect to be well attended by all Liberians. Why is this game important? It's, it's not a football game yet. Yeah, we know. But it's Liberia versus City. For please qualify for the World Cup. Now, they want an arm. You big government versus NYP government. You want a Liberia versus Senegal. Our country, our flag, our pride will be coming up against Senegal. Now, I don't know any Senegalese who will be supporting Liberia. If you know somebody somewhere who will be doing that please let me know. But this is one time we need to win this game. First of all, let me play. We need to win this game. Cross, cross. And you know, some of us who play sports, and you know, I play soccer. Sometimes, even if you don't kill all the men, if your whole family behind you, and they say, do it, do it. I don't, I don't know what I asked for anything like that. You can do it. <laughs> this is one time we need to do ourselves. We want to see, look, our channel of mobilization before for the national team. We're going to play in Nigeria. When you listen to the announcement, say uh, your next activity. I want one of the people there, they don't announce our player name. They just start announcing the opposition people name. Coming here will be so so and so. Can Liberia stand so so? Yeah, we can stand anybody. Else. Our problem is we need to go together, to go and be. In one accord, with one voice and one support in our national team. And we abandon our political division. And we abandon which country you for, which country you're not coming from, who play number nine, who play number eight, who play number seven, that are your own man, which team you come from. There was all calling all of men, they call it all of men. If we go in there and just believe. A Liberia versus Senegal. All oh, everything we get in the country, we get on the beat. 
He ain't got too smart to put it down and be. Can't understand it. Don't let my coming not see, see you around. Go to say that, you know, we talked about with your brother, he's a power out of man. When Peter Harry played, when the man is going to say, hey, the man, yo, every shot will miss you. The thing that you're welcome up, you got to be up on that, you go to end. But we say everything we get, they can do it again. They group wide open up. If we win the game, we get better chance to go to the money. Walk off. Hey, my people, we say, we say, walk off. <laughs> so, I asked the LFA people to kind of, I will be the last. I will talk to you about the trip, and then we are launching a new format to our program. It's pretty brief. We will launch it, but when, when I talk, I will tell you about how it but first, we want to talk about football. Like very people will love football. I know sometimes some people will not start giving, oh, the team here, the team here can win, the team here. No, my people, the team can win. The team will win. Remember the microphone, yeah? This team will win on Sunday. You know? Even David, when he went to Goliath, there was a man at night that said, David, David, yeah, make it. David said, I rock, carry it all, my man, we, man. They didn't want to hear it more than David and Goliath. We can win, and we will win this game on Sunday. What do we need? We need all our parents, wherever you are. You go to church Sunday morning, say a prayer for the national team. From now until Sunday, let's paint this city red, white, and blue. Let's forget who where, who ate who money, who, 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 who. Let all of our head. Hey, yeah, I didn't live long to see. Let all of our hands behind the national team. Because you know, I, I, 11 men will be on our feet out of time. But I the whole country being going in there.
It was a cattle back. That's why they say I want to come from in some of the more and some of the That we were busy it out. When you pretend it that way, and we fight for it to happen, then it will happen. But if you take the approach that, they are when we it will, nothing this country cannot do. Nothing we have not done before that we cannot do again. I remember when Nigeria came here, our chairman of mobilization. They said, I call it BB I want to play on it. We are we didn't have BB. Some of my own friends, my men start dying a bit more. They like Labroga be natural. We beat them 1 0. Two one was one. Who are you there? Two one. Two one. Two one. Yeah. All right, that I see one zero. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line is, who won the game? We won. After the game, some of my men like you to be saying, my man, yeah. You have to believe. Don't forget, this national team is our own. Senegal will cheer for their own team. When we go there, what happened there at the business? But yet, on this soil, they play all on the spring berry. They play with go home. They will not come here and give up. We will beat them. <laughs> Let me, let me, let me invite the LFA people, and then we call it up. Sunday, I call it on all Liberians everywhere. For once, share your differences. This thing, we own it together. This is the this one that our pride, that our flag. Oh man, you go to some people, you, you eat some people places, and they play the national anthem, suddenly, I don't care if they agree with the president, they agree with the president, they let it be, they let it be. Everybody stand up, hold their heart, and, and, and stay in allegiance to their country. That's the feeling we want on our feet on Sunday. When they play the national anthem, I know some of you can see me, but stay and sing anything that comes from your mouth. <laughs> Even when we read the in Joppa, make it loud, let us sing again. again. We get an idea over a job on the job. In job. Uh, but if you were fortunate in the game, you know that uh, 
আমি আগার অপরচুনিটি দিচ্ছি আর লাইক এখন মাসে আপনাদের গেম স্পেশাল ডে হেল্প দেই দিছেন বাসে চয়েস মানে বুয়া আর উনি মোস্ট বেস্ট উনি ও আর ফাইট ইন স্পিরিট কাম টু সানডে আর কো দে মাস উইন আপ বিকজ দিস গ্রুপ ইজ স্টিল ওপেন and the market still qualify uh if you recall Senegal is on top of the zone with 6 points uh they are followed by Uganda with 5 points and then uh Liberia has 4 and Angola has 4 so that tells you that the win for us on Sunday will give us 7 points with a game left now last game is September it's in Luanda Angola So that can be decided by you, or you can decide this in your home. The last time we played at SKD, of course, all of you know the story. We won about two goals to nothing. So we can maintain that history of uh, winning uh, two out of two, but it's never going to be a support as well. Uh, we have professionals. You may not know them. Probably you may know the name uh, Papi Sese or Demba Bar because they play for bigger clubs. So if we have our uh, bigger names Keita is back uh, must I must inform you uh yeah this sort of hard street between uh Johnny Jersey and Kampala is our uh, one of our big greatest defenders at least as a position the team is going to be on the squad so uh we uh if I should go back to Kampala uh the first time since I've been traveling with the national team open and away uh we have been we have been keeping discipline the team is together uh which is led by coach Frank Chebo Nangwe assisted by Thomas Kujo and Joe Nangwe is that our veteran stars of the national team uh the team continues its motivation and I'm very very happy that we come back home to see this level of of motivation the press uh was yesterday when I got the idea that they joined us all so the pick up my contact with speakers and it was being announced how quite sharp and so so uh George Julia uh the new uh, team that uh, are part of us the all
place in Serbia, Solomon Wiesel place in Liberia, uh, two weeks place in Turkey, uh, Seku Elisa Jabata, uh, he just completed a loan in Greece, he's back to CSK Moscow in Russia, uh, even though he's trying to uh, stay, he's a poor lobby in Greece. Uh, we also have Waka Fure coming from Indonesia. Uh, we have Patrick from the Little Blair, he plays in Malaysia, uh, that's our tarot striker. Uh, he's one of the goals that he's going to have here. Uh, we have Zaprina, also uh, based in Indonesia. Mumbai Yuri is a reserve goalkeeper. Patrick Geha plays in uh, Australia. Ellis Tabo plays in Vienna. Uh, Simu Jila Aloysius is one of our newest uh, level back. He plays for Southern Division South Marcel FC. Uh, we have Heron Barrow plays in Cyprus. Uh, Prince City, uh, one of the upcoming uh, uh, forwards in BYC. Fidentis is plays in Turkey. Anthony Keita, like I said, he plays in France, he's back. Uh, 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 and James Kali, a uh, reserve referee who plays for Wakanda. So these are our heroes. Uh, to squeeze this quickly, we understand that the co chair of the Foundation Committee, uh, Senator Jared Bushari, will be a uh, convener of meeting. So, committee members of the Foundation, I can take a look at that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Samo. We want to invite uh, Mr. John Samo briefly speak to the press after which we shall be picking the director at the Johnson Council agency. The traffic session of the Library National Police is pleased with warm soccer fans wishing to watch a game between Rosta and Senegal in following regulation. All vehicles coming from around the SKD we use the Cobalt Town Back Road through the SD Cobalt Road to the SKD Sports Complex. Those coming from Kingsville will pass LY Junction come to SD Cobalt Road to the SKD Sports Complex. Those on when you get to L1, you decide where to go, while you go to Pinsby or to Monrovia. The pavement to the entrance of the field will be ever clear. No vehicle will be allowed to park there. Police officers will be there to direct you to where to park your vehicle, and you must park in a red pole position. Only vehicle with passes to be allowed to the SKD. No vehicle whatsoever will be in the middle there if you don't have a pass. At all fans going to, to watch a game must display their ticket. When you found that ticket to be sold prior to the game. So you must show your ticket before you go to the have that thing when Jen back to go who don't have ticket, they just go in to enter freedom. If you don't have ticket, stay home and watch again. Maybe uh, the mutual information will show you on television. <laughs> <laughs> no blunt object. No blunt object. Uh, blunt object are objects that are moving people. Knives, bottles, or any illicit item will be allowed on the field. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. John Sayuma. Distinguished members of the press, I would like to now invite to this podium the director of the Drugs Enforcement Agency, Honorable Anthony Swan. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, no. 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 O
Yeah. 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 The area of illicit drugs of fire control is here. Form. The drug enforcement agency has become vetting and restructuring the agency to match its capability with the emerging trends on drug abuse and trafficking activities that are fast involving our society. They have also begun to craft a strategic vision of the institutional development to affect full and original and integrated sector, such as cultural service and professionalization of the, of the agency. Enhancement of operational and intelligence anti narcotic capability. The institutional reorganization and above all human resource development of the DA, which in our view will bring our DA on par with the less drug fighting organization. It is fair to state in this public reality that Liberia is caught by high inflation of drug in the face of the people drug law. Our law grants bill to anyone engaged in sale or use of the discipline. Hence, it can be logically agreed that the power of the enforcement power which you share as an institution is not absolute in nature to prevent the abuse of drugs. Total involvement and participation in high society in this fight is required to be shown. Simply the law that establish a GDO to prevent and deter the abuse equally shows those engaged in drug abuse to, set, to get bills even the meeting they are arrested. This scenario means a conscious mind to see the state of our society tends to overcome. It provides a simple calculation that our society is vulnerable and will remain so for a long time if nothing is done to deal with. Situation. When we assume the driver's seat of the drug enforcement agency, our focus has been the passage of a strong law, drug law, that makes the enforcement power granted GEA a reality. To this end, the anti drug law has been helped with the assistance of our international partners and stakeholders. We would like to mention the binding desire of the international community, including the United States Department of the United States Department of State, the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime, the OPC, among others, in seeing that we have become crime The United States government recently trained several departments. The State Department has also assigned Counter narcotic ambassador to the GEA to assist in the formation of the policy directive and the work of this agency and a partnership with others can be described as a cultural practical in its year for one year. Depending on our improvement, contract can be reduced. Indeed, we urge to all of our we urge all of our citizens to join us in venting our anger. And muscle against drug issues. This requires the necessary pressure from policymakers to see drug law as a silent but devastating war against the social and economic interests of the state. We need the legal framework <coughs> this war. We, as a nation and people, are obliged to protect. In the absence of a universally acceptable legal framework, we raise the heavy 
And because of this, we had to merge some of the sessions. We have done a complete audit of the agency, which was recommended. Regular meetings have been done with our counterparts on American Embassy and UNODC towards the reform process. Regular General Assembly have been here with officers, including officers in the New York counties. Training is just about 7% seven, seven, 7 for now. DA have also benefited from training in investigation sponsored by American Embassy, and we also benefited from training in Ghana and Botswana. More training I expect them both local and internationally. Recruitment is pending completion of the vetting process. The review of the draft law is pending validation by stakeholders on the 25th of June 2013. Relevant policies are being developed, including the standard operating procedures, the SOP. To conclude, we also like to inform the general public that June 26 has been set aside worldwide to be celebrated as drug day. And this year, the Drug Enforcement Agency will be joining nationwide to celebrate this day. And we have then the following activities. A, par a parade beginning from the Centennial Pavilion to the Ministry of Gender and Development, and that will be done through the principal streets of Marodia. An indoor program has been planned at the Ministry of Gender and Development, and we are pleased to inform you that Honorable Emmanuel Blair is serving as your speaker. And phase three of the program will be the burning of drugs that have been seized over the period. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much. We want to now welcome Mr. Brown who will speak to a few national and international issues after which we will be taking your questions and so Good. It's good to be back here with you all. Um, <clears throat> we have a laundry list to run through. Let us just begin by reminding all of us that on the 26th of <clears throat> next month, we'll be celebrating our independence. Why is this important? We would have endured at least 10 years of peace. Many believe that, you know, some of us who work with that process, I one of the principal signatory the peace agreement out of Accra, Ghana. And even as we were leaving Accra, we, we knew the road to be long. There were many issues we just couldn't resolve. Many things we did not come up with. We're relying on the goodwill and resilience of the Liberian people.
But also important was the fact that we were hoping all of us were tired of the conflict and we had learned just so much. <clears throat> that instability hurts all of us. That the absence of peace is the absence of development, personal as well as collective. And that at the end of the day, the Liberian people who come together, commit ourselves to a new democratic order, elect the kind of leadership of which all of us will be proud, that will represent our interests, and that will return our country to respectability. I tell you, in Ghana, some of the people who had to talk down to us about the value of peace, some of the things our country need was associated with. Sometimes you, you're in an airport and you presented a Liberian diplomatic passport. And people thought all we were doing in our country was eating up each other. Images that were being beamed from our country. It's one of our people that have lost their way. Very little hope at home and abroad that we will make it. The diaspora was being filled up with Liberians who lost hope. The country. On our faces flat before the world. We who were original signatories to the formation of the United Nations, our delegation was subjected to all kinds of humiliation. Sometimes you go in there, they move you off the line and put you in. The room, the immigration room, where people were trying to smuggle themselves in the country, all of you are sitting there together. Senior officials of the government. We knew the road back would be long. Some of us were in lines, traveling around the world, running into people holding our passports, people who represented the worst and any society can produce. Drop laws. Using Liberia's name, dragging it because we're on our knees. Very little hope. Some of you had experiences in neighboring countries. Grateful for the assistance they rendered our people. But you know there were times when you felt like there's no place like you. Why am I saying all of this? I have had the very exciting and wonderful opportunity. I've traveled over the last month. President Sir, I who saw all of this, I who am a witness to all of this, I'm not saying somebody giving me a story to tell. One of the things I said I would do when I became Minister of Information, the 
but I will say the truth. <laughs> you know, we will always have our politics. We will always disagree. And that's the nature of the business we're in. We shouldn't all agree. Because we're not heard of cattle. For God's sake, we're human beings. We should disagree with each other. How we manage, what we do right, what we do wrong. We should encourage each other to disagree. But there are some things on which we can agree. There are some common truths on which we can agree. And even if we crucify each other later, there is a common truth. But there is back. Liberia is back. You know, and, and, and maybe you're sitting somewhere in a village, maybe the school not too good yet. Maybe you can't afford to pay your rent yet. Maybe you can't afford food yet. So when I say Liberia is back, you're asking yourself, what does it mean to me? I understand that. I know where you're coming from. Those of us who are middle age now and going on, there was a time when we didn't have conflict and neighbors around us had conflict. There was a time they used to come to our country to look for food. There was a time we used to read about them standing in line for tissue, for sugar, and for salt. We used to say to ourselves, it will never happen to us. Not we will do in this. I know. Some people will promise and say, you know what? How many government collected last month? Collect 30, 30 million, let the buy. Let's our our team say angel, angel. So let them enjoy. But there are some things we have learned. If we don't get it right, you will enjoy now, and even you will suffer before your children suffer tomorrow. <clears throat> that is the nature of life. My people, I'm proud to report to you. Liberia is back. <coughs> you know, it started with our election. We had an election in this country. Yeah. Everybody didn't like the result, but no, everybody does not like the result of any election. Even in church. We got a leadership. We criticize. We condemn. Liberian people decided, and we said, let's move on. <clears throat> that leadership started putting the plans. Over this last trip, first we went to the United Nations headquarters in New York. <coughs> Liberia, Liberia's president, less than 10 years after we signed our visit, less than 10 years for many believe. We will slip back into conflict. We will not make it. 
Liberia's president was named as one of three co-chairs to decide on what the future framework of the world agenda will be after 2015. We trivialize it. It doesn't seem important. And sometimes you say, well, I mean, Now, people, when you consider that our president was coming from the same country that had to go to a neighboring country's capital to determine a peace agreement for itself, and suddenly that country had risen to a point where it was now speaking for the continent. Speaking for all post conflict countries. So the framework was put together. Eminent thinkers and world leaders. I know we had a meeting there in Monrovia, and some people said, hey. one, one, our grievances before the people that are coming. If I want to call out that meeting, go to value of that meeting. That meeting has returned us to where we truly belong. Those who did not believe that this country will make it, that this country will stand up again. Can you hear? Even though our hotels are not the best, even though we don't have skyscrapers. But they left from here believing Liberia is a post conflict success story. People are resilient. The people believe in the future of togetherness. They believe in the future of prosperity. They believe so, in the future of peace. The world was put together. And then send a message out clearly. But there was something else. We sent a message. We were about to return to the world stage exactly where we left off at the forefront of world development. We went to New York. I sat in a room. You know, when I said it, I'm running. I'm here to do a home. But I'm here to do Liberia's home. I sat in a room and nobody was condemning my country or saying we were eating each other here. Nobody was calling us savages. People were calling us world leaders and thinkers for the future. I sat in that same room. When years ago people saw us Less than human beings. This time they were looking at us as people leading the world to a better future. Giving the world hope that if people can fall and they can get up again. I sat in that room. I look at President Selly cheering with other eminent thinkers. And I saw all recognizing speakers. Yes. I said, yeah. God has given me an opportunity to see this, to see my country return. <laughs> to you, to some of you, it's a joke. You think this is about President Sally? You got it wrong. You got it wrong. This is about me. This is about you. This is about your children. This is about your Liberian identity. It's about who you are. That's what this is about. You know. Our adversary of politics came to make us believe that we will never find the good in each of us. If we do good, it may not be my interest to identify that good. It's in my interest to put that good down. So in the end, we even risk putting our country down just to put the other person down. But I sat in that room, I was, I was so proud. They debated the draft report. I sat in a room when David Cameron came to consult the Liberian leader. Forget about who the Liberian leader is for a minute. Just imagine the president from your party. But he came into the room and said, What is your view? No. If you have been where I have been before, and there are some people listening to me 
who can identify with this. If you represented this country outside before and see the kind of verification and notification that people throw at us, and suddenly they want now to, to benefit from your views, you will know the country has come along. I don't care what people write. Yeah, we solve the small, small problem. Who corrupt? Who steal the man money from any cookie jar? Who we solve that other problem amongst ourselves? But we can't deny this truth. We cannot deny this truth. You can't say it. This was not a meeting where suddenly somebody was imposing on that bro what we should do or should not do. There was a question to Liberia, how do you think you can do this? What it said to me was that we were speaking with the highest leaders of the world on equal footing. I was proud. I was not proud if I was an MPP. I was not proud if I went in UP government. I was proud because I'm a Liberian. <coughs> and my country was a can be respected. <coughs> And proud. Then they debated the report. <coughs> they debated the report. We left New York and then I went to Washington DC. I had a number of congressional meetings. I mean, yeah, I mean, really all kind of things. You fire away, you win, yeah. Also, we ain't into that age. There is a you are going to get received the friend, go see. <laughs> Move from on Broad Street and go see. <laughs> Why do we do this for ourselves? Then, having met, you go, <coughs> the people, the people, you know, congressional leaders want to take picture with the Liberian leader and say, let <coughs> go. Maybe, you know, I know some people outside there say, hey, everybody ready. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm telling you what I saw. I'm not acting. I'm not. What somebody told me. <laughs> but I am telling you, we from there she went to Pentagon. And you know, yeah. The president, what I say. What I want for for me, I want to raise the money. And somebody call and say, I want you to attend to beg up, bread up, bread up. I don't know where you at. I don't know where you've been listening to or you've been singing in the park. We better beg to be ourselves back up. The issue of power. Then the president raised, even though you know the same, I'm not talking about data security thing. We're able to secure support for Liberia's participation in Mali. So the AFL will soon be concluding arrangements to leave for Mali as part of that history. We're coming home. Just as the president called on the Liberian embassy before she departed Washington, the decision was made to go to people to us. Went to you to us. 
cost housing. But that will get by on the ground. Somebody fell that was acting. Somebody fell that all of them were saying they were going to farm it up. And they were trying to make <laughs> the money that corruption money. Ralphie will not be. Ralphie will be fixed. By the way, Ralph, that airport will fix the airport. We will fix the airport. <laughs> <laughs> the same people who make it now will be the same people who say those people are useless. They say that they didn't do nothing. And you look at our airport. That our airport will show. We will fix the airport. Now, if we even send a technical team on the ground yet, is there something you want to go look at? All the negative propaganda. How the men ruling your country? How you not ruling your country? Are you ruling by? We stop here to rule you. <laughs> but we have put out there options. We have put out there options. Don't you want to get out of Go, 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 they were the large chair of the AU. The AU somewhere were there in their place before it went to Alex. There was the all the African. Somebody say, You hungry? Somebody say, I will, I will give you red. They say, That red, yeah, yeah. That kiss, I will leave all that. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. <laughs> so, so that was the you can't be bad when you want to like it's all you're not know, like, oh, like, you know, 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 like, Based on ESA or who suspect the other person, we are a part of the AU. We are a part of ECOWAS. We are a part of the UN. We are a part of the world. Everybody doing business with Equatorial Guinea. Exxon Mobil there. Chevron there. Total Final Health, the there. The BB company in the world. From countries that are also concerned about human rights violations, wherever it exists, including our own. We have not said any deal close on RRA. But yes, what we say to you today, mark it and ready. Wherever you are. He who gives us the best option for getting our airport done, we will take it. We will take it with two hands. Not even one. And those options come in terms of financing. If somebody say, we'll put up the money at no interest to the government of that bill. Then somebody say, we'll give you 20% interest. And what, what do we need for the airport? The first phase, we need $164 million. To complete the airport in terms of the master plan, we need $350 million. We're not going to be one big airport city.
we will look at all of the options. You can't close door to opportunity when you're looking for opportunity. In fact, somebody told me, poor me pass over opportunity regularly. So we beg you, if you get into, if you know somebody who can do it better, bring the person forward. If you get into any sort of a company that you think can do it better than, we haven't even had the technical discussions. The people will arrive here, and somebody will be ready, the people are coming, or the people can, the people left, speculation. They will come. And if they give us the offer that we need that helps the Liberian people get an airport, we take it. And if there are other issues about rights and other things, I come into now and say, we got a president now. Chairs, an important organization. So my people, that is situation where it will throw up. Nothing has been concluded. The man say, I agree in principle, you want to modernize and you want to build housing. In fact, the housing part, you can't even hear it said. And what are we talking about? We are talking about Nadia Morio. We are talking about across at least four counties to build at least 200 to 400 low cost housing across at least four counties. The government will order. So our people in the interior and other places, all you know from the day you were born to the day you, your grandpa died, you will not play. Suddenly, they got negotiated from all you. You don't know about it. Yes, all the company there, company here yeah, rising. Who are you? Who? You say, but my, my grandpa there, who your grandpa? But maybe they can have a, I was a film who said it to a different company. 
it has changed. That's another thing I'm proud of. You know, people say, oh, they're progressive people, what are they done? Let me tell you, they want to intangible. Now our people don't are not just users of land, they are actual owners of the land. The community land rights gave community title to the land. Even the government cannot negotiate that land out without the say so of the people. That's why we're getting some of the problems we're getting now. So the company that I'm going to We we'll look at, we we'll bring all the stakeholders together. We ask our people, please give more land to some of the companies so they can expand, so your communities can develop. But the thing that's supposed to be inside for you and your community, it will be there as part of the agreement as well. The woman I just tell you, I pay my taxes to the government, so I owe you nothing. That's some of the things we are doing. She went to that validation program. Following the president left to go to Addis. This one is important. 50th celebration.